wow, Kayla, don't you have like an exam next week and homework due and and other things that you have to get done your list? Yeah, but I want to make my dog a Halloween costume. <laughs> what is up, Brad people? Today, what are we doing today? Why do I always forget? Oh, today might possibly be my favorite video and I haven't even recorded it yet. I'm so stoked for this video. Today, we are making, we, I mean I, but like you two, we're making a costume for my dog. We're making a Halloween costume for my dog because there is a dog costume contest being held near where I live. And so I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, that's it. I had to enter Penny. I've never done that before. I've never made her a dog costume before. So what a perfect time to dip my toe into the DIY dog clothing world. What? What a time to dip my toe into the doll costume world than when I will be judged by other people. That probably wasn't a great idea, but it's gonna be fun. So I'm going to actually be putting a towel over my lap, not only because I have a hole in my pants and I don't wanna have to worry about censoring that out, but because I'm gonna be working with glue and I don't want that on me. So that's why I'll also be wearing some fancy dancy gloves. I mean, they're not, they're gloves. If anything, they're like not fancy. You know what, before I put the gloves on first, I need to tell you guys what we're making today. Okay, um, me and Shaddy, uh, who's my boyfriend if you don't know, uh, were looking up doll DIY costumes as well as costumes you could buy. But I wasn't like thrilled with what you can buy. Don't get me wrong, super cute, but it's Halloween. I want the spook factor, okay? So when we were looking, scrolling through like DIY ideas, how many times I'm gonna say DIY in this video? A lot, it's probably gonna keep coming out. We saw this, and I'll put a picture up here, of a dog with just like a spider on its back and I thought that was so freaking cute, but it wasn't enough. If you're gonna be judged for your mediocre crafting skills, you might as well go the extra mile. I honestly don't even remember what tangent I was starting, but we're going extra with it, okay? So we're using that spider as a theme as inspiration, as you will see in just a second. Okay, I'm just gonna toss that over there. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to be taking this white shirt, very, mm, look at that, very high quality, 448. It's actually pretty soft. I mean, Walmart, hey, don't be sleeping on Walmart clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a pretty good shirt and it's going on my dog. Using fabric glue, going to attach a bunch of spider web all around it. So when it's on her body, it looks like she's cocooned in the spider web. And then we're going to take this really dope spider that I got at Walmart for less than eight bucks. Traffic's so loud today. And we're going to fasten this, I think, to her harness. So my idea is that she'll wear the harness underneath the shirt. Then we'll put the spider web cocoon shirt over her and we'll cut out like a little hole for her harness. And, um, we will like zip tie the spider to her harness. I don't know if that's how it's gonna work out, but in my head right now, that is the plan. Just for the sake of easiness, I didn't record this part, but I had my brother help me put this shirt on Penny to mark out how much sleeve I should leave on, um, cause I'm going to cut it. I wanted a short sleeve shirt, but like I couldn't find any, which is really weird cause I live in Florida and like Walmart, I get it, but like we are in Florida stop with the winter coats okay it's 80 something degrees out right now i digress did i not bring scissors oh, i didn't bring scissors i gotta get scissors so goal one is to not get any glue anywhere that's not that we're not going to meet that goal but you know it's it's nice to set it out anyways so what i'm going to do next is cut off the sleeves wow he made this great marking ryan great you did a wonderful job thank you like do i cut it straight across or do i cut it at an angle it's a dog costume i don't think it really matters and um i got the inspiration to make my dog's halloween costume not only from seeing the the dog costume contest uh, but also, of course, from Jenna Marbles. Every year, I love when she does Halloween videos, especially when they involve her dogs. I'm inspired by the DIY queen. All right, um, that is not great. <laughs> should it be, like, I feel like it should have an angle, but, like, it shouldn't. Should it? I don't know. How do sleeves, do sleeves have angles? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay, we're just going to have to call it. We're just going to have to leave it and just 
go with it. Why is this, why am I making this more difficult than it needs to be? Because that's my life. <laughs> okay, the seams line up, but the neck hole doesn't. And that perplexes me. Uh, whatever, the shirt was 448. Okay, yeah, that's how I came out worse. I think it's okay. It's gonna, it's a, it's a human shirt on a dog. I think it's gonna be a little forgiving. Let's get to gluing. And this part, mm, this part's not gonna go great. It's because it's gonna get sticky and uh, I first, I foresee a lot of issues. So we're gonna focus the majority of this whatever this is, cotton stuffing on the back and then move to the arms and then move to like the belly. I think that's a strap. Now I got this glue that says it's non-toxic, not that she's going to be eating it because it'll be dry by the time she wears it. Um, but you know, I figured non-toxic that can't, that, that, you know, can't hurt. I mean, it might, but like not lethally. What? I don't know. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Do I want to do stretches from top to bottom, from side to side maybe? Do I want to just do clumps? Probably not clumps. It's not gonna look very spider webby if I do clumps. Okay, now we're unrolling it. I should have got the spray glue. That would have made my life so much easier. But also probably like toxic fumes, so maybe not. This does not look like a spider web. I'm I'm very perplexed. How is this? How am I supposed to unravel this? Like what? Is, what is this? What is what is this? I thought it'd be like I don't know, not so bunchy. It's okay. It's okay. It's a DIY costume. You knew you knew there's gonna be some wrenches thrown in there. This is taking more brain power than I thought it would. Better. You know what? I think it's actually coming along. Look at me. Don't doubt your guy. Don't doubt yourself. Okay. DIYs, they never look good until you're done. So, whenever you're like, okay, this is not at all how I pictured in my head this to come out looking, just like take a take a chill pill. Take a step back. It's okay. It'll come together. You just gotta keep finessing it the right way. Okay. So I think that is stretched out enough oh, okay that does look more like a spider web when you like hold it up we're going to focus on the back i'm actually going to tuck the sleeves under so i don't even worry about the sleeves because i feel like if i try to do the sleeves in with the shirt when she moves it's gonna like tear off or something so i feel like i had to stop at the seams look at me getting so technical like i actually know what i'm doing i'm like kind of impressed with myself not gonna lie okay right, next time or next time next time i drink a ball z is this glue going to seep through the shirt and cause a huge mess possibly should i like preemptively put like paper in between or something to keep that from happening yeah i should but guess what i'm already sitting my butt down i don't want to get up so we're just gonna go with this does this have like an odor I, wow, that's like the number one thing you learn in like science classes. Don't stick chemicals up to your nose. I listened. <coughs> God, these scissors suck. <sighs> okay, wow, Th is this made of kryptonite? Like, what is this? Kryptonite. Oh, I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna spread it around with my hands, but I think if I do that, my like all this is just gonna stick. Maybe I'll use the bet. Okay. Mm. Okay, this I gotta be smart with this because I don't think you get do-overs when it comes to glue. Maybe that's all I'll do. I'll use the sleeve to smear around the glue. Look at that. I'm using my brain. Oh my god, I'm so proud of me. I'm just gonna really put the glue all over. All over. All over. Wow, that's actually really hard to squeeze out. <laughs> oh no, I got on my glove. <gasps> yep, it's happening. It's all over my glove. It's all over it. All right, well, we tried, we tried. I, I did my best. I thought I was using my brain. I mean, I was using my brain. I just, I think my brain betrayed me. Everyone talks about how, you know, annoying um, glitter is in the craft world, that it's like the herpes of the craft world. But no one talks about how annoying glue is. Oh no, there's dog hair. Okay, you might have to just be part of that now. Did this have a certain way that I was supposed to do this? Like, did I? Oh no, I didn't mark off the sides. That was so dumb. Okay. Let's, let's stick you to the top and then just go around the edges. I thought it was so much glue, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, come on, come on, please. I have no other ideas. Oh no, yep, no, that's, there's no glue there. Where'd all that glue go? I don't know. It could be worse, it could be worse. You know what, it could be worse. Maybe I'll just have to go around the edges again because it seems like the edges, oh God, there's so much glue on my gloves. Oh shoot, oh shoot, I think we did it. I think we secured. Okay, is it looking a little more mummy-ish than cobweb? Kinda, uh, and you know, that maybe we'll end up going into a different direction. Oh, please don't have, please, please don't sleep through the other layer. Okay, it looks like there's some seepage. Okay, that's not great. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, stop sticking my hands, please, 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 please. Okay, come on, come on, work with me. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight into the glue. 
because it's sticking to my hands anyways, so maybe the glue will help it stick to the shirt. <sighs> Be a sticky boy, come on. Oh no, where'd the cap go? Okay, we lost the cap. We lost the cap. Oh no, my hair's gonna get in the blue. Okay, the cap's gone. Oh no. Um, oh no. Where, how did, where did it go? Okay, well, that happened. Now we had to live with the consequences. Oh, there's the cap. <laughs> Don't know where that, that was magic, okay. That was like the red room. Shout out to anyone who just binge watched the haunting on of Hill House on Netflix. Um, if you haven't, you totally should. I could go on a tangent though about how I did not like the ending. I won't bore you with the details. Maybe I should. That would be like an hour later of just me like ranting and raving, but I don't want to give any spoilers away because that show did just come out. And I have no um, self-control when it comes to good TV shows, so I will just binge watch them in their entirety and put up all responsibilities until the episodes are finished. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, I regret this. I should have just bought a doll costume. So much easier. Okay, my hair got in this. How? How? How did my hair become part of that? All right, we need the glue. I'm just ready to get this glued on here. And you know what? I'm just gonna accept however it looks. That's the, that's the stage I'm at in this DIY craft. I'm ready to be done. Y'all, I have such a newfound respect for DIYers, for crafters, for people who take it upon themselves to make their own. You know, does it tend to come out looking better than if you bought it? No, it doesn't. But the pride they feel from making something with their own hands, I get it. It's cool. Much respect. I'm quickly finding out that maybe I don't have the patience. Okay, so as of right now, this is the result. I don't want to say final because it's not completely done yet because we still got to attach the spider and and everything. So, um, but this is this is the, the what a whole bottle of glue gets you. So, um, yeah, let's just let it dry and then see what happens. <laughs> okay, so little change of plans. Um, the doll costume contest wasn't being held where we thought it was, so then we researched it, and it turns out it was part of like a bigger event, and then when we drove by to check it out, um, no dogs were in costumes that we saw. So we decided, nah, eh, let's just go home and have a photo shoot. And you know, the model was a bit sassy. She wasn't feeling it today, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but um, this, is, this is what we got. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a fail because she looked cute and I got pictures of it for to look back on forever so you know that's that's a win in my book maybe next year I'll just buy a costume <laughs> again the light what is happening thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope that doesn't bother you and if you like today's video please um, turn on my channel notifications and make sure you check the always box I think because I think the default is like sometimes, which I don't even understand because like first you have to subscribe, then you turn on notifications, and yet YouTube still doesn't want to send, I don't know, I'm not getting into that today. Please, just do it. Did you do it? Okay, thank you. And until next time, kids around us, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Missy Pen.